Hello guys, today we are going to be unboxing the Guar Micro Starter Kit for Arduino. And, um, Gar reached out to me and asked me, um, offered me, um, if I wanted to unbox this kit and I said yes. Um, they, um, sent me this kit for free. Um, and, um, and here there's a little paper that says... If um, there's any missing components, a broken box, malfunctioning USB, or any other issue, issue you didn't expect, please contact us by, at their email right here. And um, they have a lot other information on here too. Um, on the back, there is a um, sheet that says everything that comes with the kit. There's also a component list in case you want to look at it that way. And... Um, now we're going to be unboxing the kit. There is some resistors in this pocket. I'm not going to take them out of the package. There's a joystick uh, module in there. There's also a rotary encoder right here. Here is the sound sensor module. Here is a Hall effect sensor that can detect magnets. Here is a temperature and humidity sensor, the DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. And here, I think we have a um, alcohol sensor. I'm going to take it out. Right here we have our um, MQ3 um, alcohol sensor. Um, here we have buttons, LEDs, um, and potentiometers. Here is the stepper motor driver. I'm going to take it out. Here is the stepper motor driver. Um, and the same compartment is the stepper motor that you would plug into it um, with this um, connector in this compartment we have a um, TR sensor Here is the PIR sensor. Here is the back of it. Here is a one channel relay. I'm going to take it out. Here is the one channel relay. Here are the um, connectors that you would put the different things inside of and here we have a DC motor a 5 volt DC motor and here we have a DC power supply um, it's a um, it's a um, 9 volt one amp in this back compartment we have our um, breadboard um, uh, expansion I mean our um, Arduino expansion board that would um, that has a um, breadboard on top and um, I'm going to get out the thing that you would plug into this. 
and I'm going to show you how you would plug it in. I think it's in the back here with um, some breadboard wires, mail to mail. Here is the um, uh, here is the Lavin. No, here is the um, Uno R3 board. Hopefully, I don't have to solder anything to it. Okay, there was some header pins in that. Um, the Uno R3, and I'm going to take it out. Um, here is the Uno R3. That would go on top of this. Like this. No, like this. And then you just plug it in like that. Okay, we're halfway done with unboxing this box. Okay, we already went over the breadboard ring wires. And, um... Now we can go to the, um... Other compartments. Here is an RFID um, reader. Like if you're like um, going to a door, um, like um, places have um, where you just have to swipe your key card or your little um, keychain thing, and it will um, work. So here's the reader. Here is the thing that you swipe over the reader, like this, and then it'll let you into a door or something. Let me readjust this. Okay, that's good. And this will be a little card that um, you could um, make work with this. You can program it to work with this RFID chip, and then you can swipe that as well. And here we have a, let me check what it is. Um, and here we have a, um, we have a Wi-Fi transceiver right here. And um, I'm not going to take that out. And here we have the USB cable for the Arduino Uno R3. And here we have a um, limit switch. I'm going to take it out to show you guys. I don't need a knife. I might need a knife. Yeah, I need... Kind of hard to get these things out. Okay. Well, um, how it limits it is it would touch it and then there will be a click. And if there's a click, it'll know that it hit that limit. Or um, if it hits something, you'll know if it hits it. That's what that's for. And you, if you're making a robot, um, you can um, make it, um, like if it hits something, you, it'll know that it hit it because it hit that limit switch. Here is a flame sensor. It can um, detect the um, infrared, or whatever it's called, um, signal of the um, fire. And I don't know if there's a flame right there. In the bottom here, we have a, um, I believe it's for the, um, it might be the real-time clock module. Yeah, this is the real-time clock module. You can program stuff to, um, know what time it is. And, um make it read the time and do all that so there it is and put it over there put that over there here we have a gyroscopic sensor um, used in a lot of drones so it knows where um, it is 
um, and it knows if it's um, level or not, and all that. Right here it is, and it can, it knows where it is. Like phones have gyroscopic sensors, um, so they um, know if you like turn your phone. Here is an ESP32. I don't know if this is the one with no MCU or not. Okay, got that open. Here it is, an ESP32. Here is a bag with um, a four. Okay, as I was saying, there's a four seven segment display. A 9 volt battery connector and um, switches and buzzers and ICs and photoresistors and there's a switch right there. Um, I'm gonna have to do this um, unboxing a little bit faster because my um, storage is kind of running out for my camera. And um, I have this little um, rain sensor so it knows if it rains. I'm going to put this right here. And here are some wires that would go to the, um, to the, um, thing that would connect the, um, thing to the range sensor. Put that right there. Here is a 5 gram servo motor. Um, servo motors can, um, be very precise and um, turn like trash cans can use a servo motor um, like if you walk up to it it'll open it here's an ultrasonic rangefinder here is a soil mo moisture sensor I'm not going to take it out here is a um, I'm pretty sure this is a Bluetooth module. I'm going to try and take this one out. Got a doubt. Um, here, down in the bottom, I think it's another... No, this is a um, LCD display. with the I2C backpack so you only have to connect it to four pins to power it right here we have a keypad a matrix keypad you can type passwords and stuff into it um, and do that type of stuff here is the remote control kit with the um, um, with the um, IR receiver and all that. Not gonna open that. Okay, guys, I have, um, the USB flash drive with all of the code libraries and stuff. It's a 16 gigabyte, um, USB flash drive. And I'm just gonna put that back in there. And here we have a, um, another ESP32. Gonna take that out. One more cut. And these are on little foam things. So, um, you put this in a breadboard and you can control stuff over Wi Fi. It shows Wi Fi right there. And all those pins you connect to different things that you want to power. So, that's that. And here is a um, pixel matrix display. Um, you can make different pixels light up. Here is a cord for the um, Arduino Uno R3. Plug it in like this.
In the back here we have the bedboard which can connect a lot of wires to and um, a lot of integrated circuits and buttons to power stuff. You can also connect things like um, uh, well, microcontrollers and stuff like that. Here is a ton of male to female wires and um, that is everything in the kit. Thanks for watching. Bye.